The final value of S now would be 9 plus 12 which is 21 the answer. Hey guys what's up I hope you're doing great in this video I'll be explaining double sums using different problems before moving on please make sure you've subscribed to my channel and you've hit the bell icon for notifications so let's do some problems this problem is from article 2.4 problem number 33 this is part a from the book of Rosen discrete mathematics the problem says that there are two summations the first summation is i equal to 1 up to 2 the second summation is j from 1 up to 3 i plus j so how you should be looking at these two summations is that there are going to be all of these iterations for individual values of i in this particular example there are only two values of i i has first i has value equal to one and then i has value equal to two right when i has value equal to one all of this summation is going to iterate as we have seen before starting from one then going to two then ending at three right for a fixed value of i equal to one this is going to happen right and similarly all of these iterations are going to happen again for a fixed value of i equal to two in this part but first look at the first fixed value of i equal to one so for fixing the value of i at one what we can do is we can iterate j going from one up to three right so for i equal to one and the first value of j which is 1 this is the first iteration of this loop right then it is going to be added because there is this summation sign this is going to be added to the second term this term which has fixed value of i equal to 1 and j iterating further from 1 to 2 so instead of j right 2 instead of i i am going to use the same fixed value of i equal to 1 right similarly i is still fixed at this value while j obtains the last iterative value of 3 so now this is the final thing so i can calculate this 2 plus 3 plus 4 equal to 9 similarly when all the iterations of j are completed for the first value of i now i am going to change the value of i to 2 i'm going to fix the value of i to 2 and i'm going to reiterate this internal summation for all the possible values of j so i get now i is fixed at 2 while all these values of j are going to change as they changed before so plus 1 plus the fixed value of i which is 2 and j changes the value from 1 to 2 and then again i is fixed to 2 while j changes the value to the final value which is 3 and then you calculate this as well and you get 3 plus 4 plus 5 which is 12 now because there's a summation sign for i that means all that is happening for i all the iterations are going to be added together it means that these two things are going to be now added right so that means we will have to add 9 and 12 these are going to be added right so the final value let's call this summation s so the final value of s now would be 9 plus 12 which is equal to 21 so this is our answer okay so let's do another problem the next problem i am going to do again from 2.4 is problem number 34 d you can see that let me name this summation as s again s is equal to now sum i going from 0 to 2 then sum j going from 0 to 3 and i square j cube right so there's an algebraic function based on the values i and j and you first take the square of i and then the cube of j and then multiply them together you'll get the answer to any term just as before what we're going to do we're going to take fixed values of this outer you can call loop if you have seen uh, nested loops in programming so it can be seen as a loop so the outer loop or the outer summation we will fix the values for example I'm going to fix the value of i to 0 the first value of i and I'm going to iterate the internal summation to all the possible values which is which are 0 1 2 and 3 so I'm going to first write i equal to 0 and j equal to 0 I'm going to use these two values right so 0 squared multiplied by 0 cubed Right? Then I'm going to keep the value of i fixed which is 0 and I'm going to change the value of j to from 0 to 1. So I'm going to change the value of j from 0 to 1 and I'm going to take its cube. So you, you may have already uh, noticed that every value is going to become 0 because i is fixed to 0 and 0 is being multiplied with some other value. So that is going to happen but I'm just going to write it down. 
Okay, so the la uh, the next value of j would be 2 cube plus 0 square multiplied by the last value of j is 3. So 3 cube. So if you evaluate all of this, this is 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 equal to 0, right? Okay, then you change the value of i from 0 to 1. What do you get? 1 square, 0 cube because the starting value of j is 0. 1 square because i is fixed at 1 multiplied by the next value of j which is 1, 1 cube. Then 1 square, 2 cube plus 1 square, 3 cube, right? This becomes 0 plus 1 plus 8 plus 27 which is 36. Similarly going to the last value of i, as you've seen here, the last value of i will be uh, will be 2. So i equal to 2, for i equal to 2 you get 2 square, 0 cube, 2 square, 1 cube, 2 square, 2 cube and then 2 square, 3 cube which is the last value. So you can see here that the value of j increments in the same way, 0 to 1, 1 to 2, then 2 to 3, these are the values of j and you can see that the value of i is kept the same this is all i it is fixed to value 2 right so you evaluate this you get 0 plus 4 plus 32 plus 108 the answer to that is 144 this is the answer to this so i hope you understood the concept of double sums if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and click like hit the bell icon for notifications and thanks for watching